welcome back to the channel. And on this video, I want to talk about something that just came up. Just out here on the bike for a ride to shoot a video and somebody's... I was on the side of the road here on the curb. And the guy was asking me, he says, hey, uh, he rolled down his window and says, hey, do you need a license for that? And I said, no, it's an e-bike, electric. And, and he said to me, he said, where did you get that? And I said, well, I bought it online. And I said, you can buy them at stores, but I happened to purchase this one online. I purchased all my bikes online, actually. So anyway, um, it made me think. There's a lot of people out there that don't know anything really about e-bikes at all, nothing. And he did know one thing about the battery. He says, are those lithium, is that a lithium battery? I said, yeah, there's two of them on here. One under the seat and one on the down tube right there. And he said to me, uh, he said, oh, he says, those are the ones that catch fire. And I said, well, that's kind of a long story. And I said, we kind of left it at that because there was a car coming up behind him. He had to get off the road. But uh, And the e-bike fire thing, of course, people hear on the news about the fire in New York, the fires that have been going on, particularly in New York. I'm not going to pick on New York, but that's where you always hear where they're coming out of. And I said, yeah, and I didn't have a chance to explain to him what exactly is going on with that. Because really, though, honestly, I don't even know uh, where we're at totally with that. But anyway, uh, he had to move on out of the way. But. Uh, yeah, that's the thing that people are going to hear about and then that's going to push them further away from uh, electric bikes, right? They're going to say, oh, those things are the ones that ca they're always on fire and dangerous, you know, and so we're not going to bother. Um, don't even want to deal with that, you know. We're not going to bother um, ever even looking at one of those. So that's kind of sad, you know, that... It used to be that I would get stopped and asked all the time. First of all, they'd say, I love your bike. You know, you never hear negative that that's an ugly bike. They're all, they're all beautiful, right? And, but I would get, how fast does it go? You know, that's one everybody wants to know how fast it'll go. It's hard to answer that because it depends on things, situations. But, then the other question you get is, how far can you go? Meaning how far can you go on a charge? Well, that too is variable. It, it, it can be from just 20 miles to uh, 70 miles. So I can't, you can't really give a definitive answer on that, but those are the questions that you would get. Or the other one would be, the third one would be, how much does that cost? How much are they? Those are the three questions I would get um, asked the most. How fast does it go? How far can you go on the charge? And how much does it cost? But to get what I just had here before I turned the camera on, I wish I would have had them on camera and uh, you would have heard them, but... Um, Today I get 
do you need a license for that? Because he, he noticed I don't have a license on the, on the, no license plate on it. And I said, no, you don't. This is just an electric bike or bicycle. It's not a, a motorcycle. It may look kind of like a motorcycle, but it's not. And then he mentioned about lithium batteries. I said, yes, they are. There's two of them on here. And then he brought up the fact about the firewall. If I would have been able to have a longer chat with him, I would have tried to convince him that, hey, it's so rare the fires compared to how many bikes are out there. And nobody knows for sure what's going on with that, whether it's the cheap batteries or people are messing with the batteries and altering things and trying to do who knows what to the battery. Need to get people saying, that's a beautiful bike, I love it, you know. Uh, where can I get one myself and how fast does it go and how far can you go and how much does it cost? Those are a lot better questions to answer than e-bike fires and, and being illegal and all that stuff. If you want to chime in with a comment on the, this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.